In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the built-in Windows 10 Nightlight feature, as well as two separate third-party software. One of them is called Flux, and the other one is called Lightbulb. Each of these methods have their own pros and cons, so I'm gonna show you each one of them, and you can test them all to find your favorite. So first up, I'm gonna be showcasing the Windows 10 own Nightlight, which you can access by typing in Nightlight in your Start Menu search bar. This should open up the nightlight settings from where you just press turn on now and you should see the effects by sliding the strength slider. However, you won't see any color changes in this video as they are only in the monitor. So while I'm recording this I can see them change but you won't see anything in the video. Just trust that it's happening in the background. Another cool thing in the Windows 10 features is the scheduling function which you can turn on by toggling the switch. And if you want you can enable location services so Windows will automatically turn on nightlight when it's supposedly nighttime in your current location. However, I would not turn on location services just for that. I'd rather set the hours manually since they give pretty decent sliders here. So you can set up when to start and when to end the night light so you don't need to worry about it. The problem here is that's pretty much all the customization you get with the Windows 10 settings, which is why you might want to check out the other programs instead of this unless this is really all the functionality you need. But as a final cool thing on Windows, if you click the bottom right corner, you can simply one click enable and disable nightlight from this little button in the corner, which is very useful if you wanna disable it before starting a game or something like that. If you have any trouble enabling nightlight on Windows with uh, grayed out buttons or some things like that, I showcased a couple troubleshooting steps in the link in the top of the description. I didn't feel like adding them to this video because they'll take too much of your time because most people won't have any problems with this. But next up, I'm gonna show you Flux, which is the most popular third-party nightlight software, which is also free. So you can download this program for free from justgetflux.com and click the blue button to get the latest version. And once you've installed it, go to the bottom right corner in the toolbar and right click on the new icon and you can open it up or just double click it to open it up. And you can see this little overlay here, which will show you approximately when it's gonna start uh, dimming down your display colors. And you can also change them very flexibly here as you can see. And if you click on the actual image, it will show you an animated 24 hour preview. But as I mentioned before, you won't see the colors change on the video recording as they will only change on your monitor when you're actually using the software. The main reason why Flux is so popular is because it has tons of cool preset colors and they're all very accurate and they look good as well. Which is not the case for the built-in Windows 10 necessarily as it doesn't have nearly as many different options. There's a lot of variety of settings within Flux and there's even support for smart home lights like Philips Hue lights if you want to change your entire room instead of just your monitor, which is very cool. Now, that one thing that Flux is proud of and is also the biggest issue is that it uses your location to determine when the sun is going down, which can be a problem. For example, if you live in Finland like me, in the winter there's only one or two hours of sunlight and that means my monitor will be red for the entirety of the day. If you think this might be a problem, I recommend checking out the next software, which is called Lightbulb. You can download Lightbulb from its GitHub page which I have linked in the description. So just look for the latest version and then look for the installer.exe file in the list and save it and install the app from it. To open it up, do the same as you did with Flux. Just double click that little icon and this interface will show up. And note that on my PC it does look a bit glitchy, but I feel like it's not gonna be the same for everyone. I feel like it will work on most PCs. But either way, you can see, you can preview similarly to Flux, even though it lags on this screen a bit. But it still worked, the colors change is fine. When you go to settings, you can see, you can set the times manually, and you can set all the colors to whatever you want, and the percentage and all the saturation, which is great. Then, when you press the globe, you can set the timers, and you can set a location similar to Flux, but if you're gonna use the location, then you might as well use Flux instead. Just remember to save your changes when you set the timers or you won't notice a difference. Now, another cool thing in the next tab is you can actually set it to turn on and off when you're using full screen apps. 
And then finally in the last tab, you can actually set shortcuts for turning the brightness up or down or turning it on and off. To make a shortcut, just click on any of the text and press any shortcut keys. Easy. Well, really the best thing about this is so lightweight and small, you won't even notice it. And if you right click on it in the taskbar, you can see these quick settings to disable it for a certain period of time or just uh, until sunrise, whatnot. And you can easily open it back up again. So it's so easy to use. And if you need to do something, turn it off for a little while. It's so easy to just disable it. Sadly, there's not a lot of variety in the night light sections of Windows. So if you know any other good software, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.